How are you guys? Dave Man Max X, we're at the Mecca and look two of my favorite people just <laughs> grace there grace us with their presence all the way from Palm Springs. <laughs> Chris Boyana, how are you guys? Doing good. Great. Yeah. Thank you. And so you guys came to see me today because we have great news. What's the great news, Boyana? Olympia! <laughs> <laughs> Olympia bound! Congratulations! Finally got a yes, finally I qualified. Oh That's my gosh. Dream come true. You looked amazing. I'm Thank so happy you. for you. Thank you. Chris, you must be so happy. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited. I'm so glad to not be running all over the country and <laughs> trying to get that qualification, trying to accumulate those points. I it's just awesome. became like, uh, you prep your first Olympian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is close. I mean, it's like, you know, just in about four or five weeks and it's in Vegas, so no yeah, stress. Yeah, nice. She's nice ready already. Absolutely. That is We're, uh, so cool. We're changing things up a little right now to kind of get her metabolism so it will recharge again. Yeah, she, because this is going to be my yeah. seventh show this year. Yeah, after like um, nine months of in prep mode, I'm feeding her more, cutting the cardio down so we can ramp it up. And so no walking. Kinda, Stop walking. That's what I told her. <laughs> 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 She's out there doing bike sprints in 115 degree weather. I'm like, why? You're killing Five me. Five weeks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what are we training, Boyana, today? Uh, shoulders. Yeah. Huh? Shoulders today. Yeah. Okay. And Chris, we're gonna talk because you have a lot going on right now. Yeah. We're gonna do a little. Yep. Yeah. Tosh. <laughs> yeah. A little stroll down uh, the boardwalk. Ooh, look at that, huh? Coming. We got all kinds of stuff. So we have a lot. Of, we got a lot to talk about today. Thank you for coming all the way over here, guys. And uh, we're gonna get in there, do some shoulders, and talk some more, Chris. Are you going to sign this live? Yes. You just got it yesterday? Yeah, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Awesome. First Olympia contract ever. My beard last name. <laughs> Okay. Yay! Congrats, what? Boyanovich! <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. You just showed up right now. <laughs> That's your twin sister. <laughs> Sassy, you gonna be at the tower giving trophies too? Yes, of course! Go next to each other. You guys are like twins. I'm serious. Look at that. Same height, same face. <laughs> That's awesome! I love that. I know. You Very just cool.
<laughs> yeah, she makes it look easy. Wow. You gonna try it? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, he's got it this time. <laughs> All right, Bo. So we just uh, we just uh, wrapped up a little uh, shoulder shoulder training uh, with uh, Chris, of course, and. Uh, Today's such a good day. I'm so happy to have you back. Because you know what? We haven't shot in a while, actually. You've been so busy traveling and competing nonstop. This is, it's been a while since we shot. The last time was before Puerto Rico. Oh, you remember you came up to uh, Palm Springs. I know, but it was, oh, that was before, before Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Yeah, that was like okay. May. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. So yes. it, I'm glad you guys came today. And, and so, of course, you know, when I saw that you did so well at your last show at the San Antonio and actually qualified for the Olympia, I said, I told Chris, you got to come back when we get a shoot because this Absolutely. is a big deal. Yeah. So talk to me about what it feels like to finally qualify for the Mr. Olymp the, the Olympia this, this year. Oh, I, I'm still in shock. It's a dream come true. And I didn't believe. I think that last year, this time, I was crying to him. Like, I'm never going to be on that stage. Really? Yeah, that was uh, uh, last year around Tahoe Show. Tahoe Show yeah. was my last show last season. And I missed Olympia for three points. Wow. So I was so upset. It was a hard moment, and I, I want to keep competing. I didn't want to stop at the taco show. And you say, like, no, you have to make break. Right. Finally, you need, like, a long break to recovery and start your season right. And I had, I think, mental problem first month. Uh, I didn't know, like, um, what to laughing. do with myself. He's laughing. Like, should I train or just rest or do tons of cardio like I usually do to just help myself to put that negative energy out? And finally, after one month, I start enjoying that off season, and I start get motivated again. And especially when I received my con uh, invitation for Arnold Australia, that was the moment that I really fired up. Like, oh yeah, I, I want to do it. What did you do with all that energy you're talking about after a month? How what changed? Uh, last year, you mean after? Yeah. Yeah. The first month, I was doing mostly cardio. Mm -hmm. Like I was walking. I was uh, here at the Venice building. Mm -hmm. Was living in Marina. So I was walking every day to the gym. I remember that. Do more cardio in the gym and then walking go back home. Wow. Or biking. A tons of cardio is just to uh, put that energy outside. Like, uh, just I to stay wanna, busy. Yeah. I think eventually the, the, there was a switch of gears, a switch of lifestyle. You know, she's so into doing so much cardio, always prepping, that after, I think it was around the Frigno Legacy, you, ha you were forced to take a break because we were working all week. Yes. And it kind of got her out of that, and then the holidays came, and then she got fat knees. No, that was the year before. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year. I'm like, you fat on your knees. Now, that was the year oh. before when I was eating peanut butter. <laughs> okay. No I was, peanut butter. No, if your coach says peanut butter, tell him no. <laughs> that was the worst uh, problem that I had. Like, I was addicted to peanut butter. I can finish one jar, like, wow. 10 like minutes. Wow, every woman. And all fat, like was here actually in this section for me really I still have six packs wow perfect upper body just fat was here wow i hate you <laughs> no, no you don't want this fat around the i would rather have abs house. and chunky thighs <laughs> for guys it just looks like we have <laughs> yeah we're going to have big thighs yeah exactly all right. all right so talk to me about about this year and um how's i mean she's in shape already we were at like four and a half weeks you know five weeks out to from so what's the game plan chris so what we're doing is we're actually i'm actually um tying her to various things so that she doesn't go out and do cardio all the time. <laughs> um, i've made her a minute by minute plan for her days exactly how much cardio she's supposed to do we've drastically reduced the cardio and we've increased the calories because after this like seven eight months of basically being in prep mode her body stopped responding to cardio so it wouldn't matter if she did three hours she still wasn't going to look any different right and we did see a little percentage i would say one or two percent less lean this last show than i'd seen earlier in the year really so resetting the metabolism though she she's bigger like her shoulders are bigger her uh, her glutes, glutes came up everything is bigger okay but my eyes i can see it maybe nobody else can i saw one or two percent off from what i saw earlier this year 
And don't you, you think that's that, helping her maybe a little bit more to be a little bit more fuller or bigger? Or, um, she's so I, straight she all the time. She already got fuller and bigger, so now we need to get her slightly leaner. Okay. So what we're seeing now with figure judging, they're just looking at quads first. And you see these quads are all diced up in the top two, three positions. Okay. And hers are separated, but not as diced as some of the others. I see. And that's what we're going to get. And plus the backside, like her front, her front in, next, next to Latoria at uh, uh, Arnold. Yeah. She had no problem standing next to Latoria. But when she turned around, you know Latoria's glutes, Latoria's yeah. hands, I see. the way her shoulders pop. So we're by leaning her out a little bit more in the back, we're going to get more of that pop. But I'm also increasing the calories now so we can build a little more size in the back, reset her metabolism, and then we're slowly creeping up the cardio, moving down the calories, and changing the type of cardio we're doing. So three days a week, she's actually spends 30 minutes doing posing, hardcore bodybuilding posing. Helps her get a mind-muscle connection, gets her a big sweat, and then the other day she's just doing slow, uh, slow cardio. Then she's going to ramp it up as she gets up towards the show. That's awesome. She's going to be doing road biking. I'm doing the whole this season road biking cardio. Okay. It's really hardcore cardio outside in Palm Desert in 120 degrees. Wow. It's really crazy. I, I mean, like, even early in the morning, like 6 in the morning, it's 100 degrees there. Yeah, you told me it's about a, it, you to, it's, it's, it's about 110 right now, Chris, over there. Yeah, that's a... I purposely picked the, the big hills. Wow. So it's really hard for cardio. But How? How is life in Palm Springs, you guys, since you moved there about six months ago? Dude, it's so relaxed. Yeah. So for us, it really gives you opportunity. This guy over here has no legs. It's hilarious. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's like, we're great. Two little sticks. Anyway, no, life there is great. And uh, it's, it really lets us focus on our, on our business. Um, there's no distractions. There's no traffic. It's uh, more affordable. So it's all about building our businesses, building her physique getting to the Olympia, putting on the biggest Frigno legacy ever, and uh, we really accelerated, I would say, really accelerated our careers by being there. The end of the year is gonna come fast. I mean, you go from literally the Tahoe, the Olympia, to the Frigno, and that's it. I mean, it's you know, yeah. Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas, and boom, that's it. Absolutely. That's 2016. And uh, yeah, there is a little, uh, it seems like downtime, but um, we're preparing for the expansion of the Frigno legacy into a 100,000 square foot fitness expo multiple sports this year uh 2017 wow so we're, we plan now because we have to book 400 booths we're going to be booking about six seven different sports do you have to move the venue no we're keeping the finals still at agua caliente okay uh but we're going to have pre-judging at the expo of course Ooh, like, just scoop like scoop yep. yeah, yeah awesome so sponsors who want to get in on a huge project on the ground floor this is really the time so. nice Guys, thank you so much for talking to us today. I'm so glad you guys came today. It's uh, I, I was sad the last few times we couldn't get together to shoot. It's uh, it's like a tradition now. But I know I forgot. I, I love coming down here. I know. <laughs> Do you everybody? miss it today? Yeah, you like? Oh, like, oh my god! I hate the drive to get here. I know. Once I'm here, it's like, but then everyone's oh, happy to see you guys. They're like, oh my god, Jordan's here, and yeah. everyone's here. Brad, everyone wants to talk it's to so you. And it's been like a four hour long workout because yeah. yeah. And everybody. then you're finding out everybody's doing your show. Like I'm here. <laughs> so you got to come more often, yeah. dude. I know. Very excited to tell you. Good luck at the Olympia, Boyana. We're gonna be there to see you, and then um, I, I know you're gonna do great. Thank you, uh, and I just want to thank my sponsors, Iron My Labs. Like always, like I'm already three years with them, and I couldn't be happier with all that support. They're um, lucky to have you. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Uh, then Liquid Sun Race. Yep. Amazing service every time at my contest. Like I, I was. Um, at some different shows this year where they wasn't official ever, but they sent people for me, for example. Wow. So that's priceless. Jaguar suits, they're making new one for this Olympia. Wait till you see the new one. Wow. Uh, I was like thinking so long, like what color, new design, everything, but we decided, yeah. Wow. I think it's going to be a perfect one. So uh, and I want to thank all promoters uh, of the old shows that I competed this year for the beautiful chance to collect my points and qualify. That I'm going to start from the first show, Arnold Classic Australia, Tony Doyer, and then from Puerto Rico, from Tim Gardner and Bobby uh Greater Wolves, uh, Luke and Robin Tashwich, um, Linda Murray, Linda Murray, Miss Olympia. 
and finally again San Antonio. Um, Tim Goddard and Chicago Pro. <laughs> Chicago Pro is my life. Tim's all over the place. He's Tim like puts on great he's shows. like Chris. <laughs> oh, that's a compliment. Uh, <laughs> I collect all my points from team shows and uh, Luke and Robin Texas. Awesome. Shows. That was for this year. Congratulations and Thank good you. luck at the Olympia, guys. Thanks, Chris. Hi, right, bye, guys.